आज हैं उष्णा शाह बहुत अच्छी एक्ट्रेस है आई हैव ग्रेट फेथ इन हर मुझे सबसे प्यारी बात उसकी लगती है कि उसे जानवरों से बहुत प्यार है और उनके लिए बहुत सोचती भी है और और क्या कुछ सोचती है ये पूछते हैं उससे थैंक यू उष्णा तुम जेट लैग्ड हो पता नहीं कहाँ कहाँ घूम के आई हो और शो पे आ गई मेरे आपने बुलाया तो वेरी स्वीट होती है तो कहाँ कहाँ घूमी Okay, so I was <laughs> San Francisco, LA, then Houston, then New York, then Manchester, then London for a little bit, and then home. Why? Work was mil gaya tha, mushkil se. Oh, so chutti banane gaye the. Chutti banane, there was no work, nothing. Oh, I lucky was like, girl. because I, you know, with our line of work, we don't. I mean, you travel a lot. Yeah. You and Usman Uncle make sure that you guys like are all over. हम तो भाग जाते हैं घर में. हम तो भाग जाते हैं, but I I haven't gotten a chance to travel. And ये भी this was gonna be for work. So I was actually gonna go for a project that got um like cancelled last minute. And so I was like, okay, I'll just I'll pay for my own ticket and I'll go. And I gotta do this. So I went. तो आप बस तीन कुत्ते? मेरे पास तीन कुत्ते हैं. और तीनों बड़े हैं छोटे हैं कैसे एक जो मेरी है डॉग लवर डू यू आई एम सच अ डॉग लवर माय होल फैमिली मैंने बातें तुम्हारे से करते हुए फील तो हुआ था <laughs> कि एक दफा आई थिंक जब हम आउटडोर में थे सो so uh, जो मेरा जो मेरी सबसे पहली द डॉग दैट आई हैव नार्को द फर्स्ट डॉग आई वॉच शी वाज अ पपी मैंने उसको खरीदा था जब मैं अक्कर रफूगरी के सेट पे थी और मेरे साथ स्वान अंकल थे एंड वो इतना तंग होते थे बिकॉज शी वाज अ पपी ऑन सेट तो सब आवाज आ रहे होते थे डायरेक्टर भी और सब बिकॉज मैं उसको अटेंशन दे रही होती थी बट वो अंदर आ जाती थी और फिर कुछ एक्टर्स डिस्टर्ब होते थे यू नो बिकॉज सो आई वॉज लाइक and then i would tell usman like isn't she cute and he would just be like yes she's but cute but he loves usman. dogs he does but he was like irritated at me like yes usna she's cute i get it no but look at her again <laughs> she's so cute just look at her but he was really he was cool about it he was really sweet about bachpan it bachpan se shock hai bachpan se shock hai we've always had dogs and now i have a ek rescue maine ki usko maine ek pet store se badi buri ek uski uske naseeb se bachaya bechare ki ek mix hai she's a shih tzu toy poodle aur ek mere paas pure toy poodle hai and uh, they're just amazing amma palti hain bune cuz main busy hoti hu ha ye amma ki duty hoti hai na sara kaam amma se karo kitne tumhare bacche honge tab tab bhi main palungi obviously kitne bhai bhai ho aapko pata hai kitne bhai ho che bhai bhai and you know us all six of us ab sab ikatte the ek waqt mein ek ghar mein ammi ke paas nahi nahi thankfully nahi main bahut i came much later hai na yeah so jo mujhse badi behan hai Uh, Maha, she is 13 years older than me. So, मुझसे काफी सब बड़े थे और you know they were already by the time I was like 10 they were all married. So, एक किस्म से I'm like an only child because घर में फिर बस नहीं थी. तो किसी ने बुली नहीं किया? इतना बुली कि आपकी सो आप इरशाद को भी जानती हैं आप शरीफ को भी जानती हैं आप सबको जानती हैं. हो सकता है मुझे बुली ना किया. मेरे साथ क्या क्या हो चुका है? It was it was closest. किसके साथ हो? Maha. वहाँ से बहुत दोस्ती है बहुत ज़्यादा बिकॉज हमारे एज कैप सबसे कम है एंड शी इज़ द नाइसेस्ट शी इज़ लाइक रियली स्वीट यू नो माहा शी इज़ लाइक वेरी बिचारी इन ब्यूटीफुल गर्ल शी इज़ ब्यूटीफुल शी इज़ लाइक इरसा से जो छोटी है इरसा से छोटी इज जोसना हुज ऑल्सो वेरी जोसन यू वर्क टूगेदर अच्छा हाँ नी जोसना यू हैव प्लेड माई मदर आई नो शी प्लेड यू मदर और डिट शी प्ले I thought she played the lady who saved you. No, no, but, but my mother-in-law. Mother-in-law. Yeah. There's a picture in our house growing up of you and Mama, and uh, oh, you're so beautiful, and uh, you still are. <laughs> and it was uh, you're crying and she's consoling you or peeching the eye, and it was like a big picture in our house. I remember growing up to that. Yeah. So yes, very caring and very loving. She's cool. Very like loving. She takes care of my daughter. हमने बहुत मजा किया था जब हम दरिया करने गए. दरिया में तो एक बहुत बुरा एक्सीडेंट भी हुआ था. Uh, my momani was yes. uh, was in it as well she was oh. pregnant with my cousin yes. i remember but i don't remember and i was born and i think the baby then. saved her 
the baby probably did yeah. that baby still going yeah. strong she's awesome yeah but uh, yeah mama so told God. me unki to itni haddiyan toot gayi where were you born here i was born in lahore, lahore. but i grew up in canada wo kaise hua uh yaar i don't know amma se puchna padega but i was very young and oh, i yeah. think i think irsa was in canada Is no no we were where? i think we were there before her she Achha. got married there yeah, yeah, I, yeah. i don't know but i grew up there and so that's why i was away from everyone else cuz i was like there from mm. the beginning and Are from you, the o levels ke liye aayi and ammi and you bas ammi and me can you imagine it was a little too much estrogen kaisi hai tumhari mama to be with mama, mama is a daughter mother relationship so mama and my age gap is like a lot mm. she had me when she was like almost 40 mm. so you know whereas she was a young mother raising irsa um she was like an older parent and because my siblings were so much older than me um they sort of almost raised me because mama was working all the time yeah. you know she was a single mother yeah. six children on her own so it was like a lot of the duties were taken over by sharabil or irsa or then when we were in canada um she was a little more hands on so um Yeah, I mean it was it was good. It was different because there was such a huge generation gap, I mm. guess. But I guess she made me an older soul and I kept her younger. That's a oh, good that's nice one way it. to put it. That's very sweetly put. That's a, one positive take on it. The oh. other is oh my god. So ke- school days kaise the? Um shall I be honest, huh. they're tough. Yeah, because like, you know, um I grew up in Canada. Like mai jab yahan aati hu so I talk like this a lot of times so that people don't make fun of me. And I decided that recently that I should not have to change myself. This is the accent that I grew up with. I'm going to hold on to it and there's a lot of things yeah. I'm coming to terms with. So me having grown up in Canada and uh, being there and then mama not only being like 40 years older than me but also, you know, coming from like a much more conservative sort of background. She grew up in a village I and mean, she's a very learned sort of worldly traveled well read woman but there were a lot of things she didn't get and it was just like impossible explaining them to her mm. so but it was good in some ways because she was really adamant that i would read a lot so i remember like by the time i was 10 i'd read like so many classic novels like you know um emily bronte and like charles dickens and all that so she was she kept me very sort of my nose in the books and all so how was it um, growing up without a dad Uh I didn't get to feel that because I had my brother who was like a oh, good 20 sh- yeah, yeah and he raised me and I I mean I never had anybody I mean he went to all the parent teacher meetings and he sent me to the oh. best schools and you know he would sometimes steal me away from mama and you know and just he spoiled me rotten so I never really got to so feel cute. I was such a brat. I I remember the first time I met you. I don't even want to talk about it. I was a brat and a half and I'm so sorry. <laughs> But thank you. Um, no. I think I kind of adopted you. You were so I you were my apogee. Ha. Huh. In Neelam Kinare, we huh. really bonded in that. Yeah. That was really yeah. you were so supportive and now it's on air. I'm so happy. Huh. Finally. No, I think you support karna chahiye young uh, actors ko because ek to wo already dare hue hote. Mhm. um they're struggling with lines they're struggling with the uh, yeah. you know to take light and the camera and the sound and of course the the moves and and the, and, and also yeah. the business you know you, the activity you you've guided me a lot itna kuch kar rahe hote hain saath mein aur aap fir unko dara bhi dein director bhi dara raha hota hai aur fir saath mein fellow actors bhi dara dein there's a lot of senior actors jo nahi ye cheez samajhte kafi aur kafi jo bahut acche but hamari cast bahut achhi thi even even with naim uncle He was so supportive, yeah. and you as well. You helped me a lot, actually. There were a lot, of, and it was a fun time. Yeah. एक detox हुआ ना क्योंकि phone भी नहीं था, internet भी नहीं था, कुछ भी नहीं था. आप olive oil में मछली तल रही होती थीं. हाँ. साथ और हम ठंड में, नीलम वैली में कहीं बैठे रहते. That was good weird. times. Good times. I actually really enjoyed doing that. It was project. tough because it was really tough. Then you don't have your home and the comfort. And we got sad. Yeah, we got I remember sad. You But got really sad a couple of times. I lost my temper. <laughs> By near the end, I remember I got sick and I was just like, I'm done. I want to die. Forty-five yeah. days. I was there for forty-five days. But it was it was a good experience, and it was fun. <laughs> And I was in Get Up. I had stuff in my teeth. I had a unibrow and gande bal. And I was I went on the streets to beg. Um, in real life, and the cameras were hidden, and you know there were people 
there for security in normal clothes, but you know nobody knew. So, what have you? What have you majored in? I have majored in, and I don't like to count this because I still have a semester left. Oh, I know. I left. Hey, what fun! No, I'm gonna go. I'm so excited to go back and finish yeah. it. I th- I came to work for a year, so I left. mid year huh. and i i was getting depressed in college and i had a great gp i was studying writing english and professional writing okay. so i came back and i was like okay i'll do one drama and i'll go back but then i did one and then another one came and i'm like okay i'll do two dramas and then it's just been like four years and now i think i should go and get my degree so actually after alif allah in san mm-hmm. you deserve that degree i think i do. i think i've after earned the right theory. to go back and i think <laughs> study. what i saw it and did i think like what it? you put in it Uh, I've seen your other. I've seen um, other plays also, uh, but I think um, there's something happened in that serial. Something did happen. क्या हुआ था? It was a state of mind going in. Um, so I'd done a film prior to it, which never released, huh. and I was really, really disheartened because I d- actually I feel I'd done a good job in it. I'd Achha. worked really hard, and I remember I was really upset, and I got the role, and I'd been waiting for a role like Alif, like Rani, for the longest time. This this type of a role comes once in a blue moon. Yes, you know that. absolutely. It's Boy, like if you're lucky that. enough to yeah. have it, you better not ruin it. Yes. You better give it your hundred percent. So I spoke to Javad, my who directed my film, and I said, I'm so nervous. I, I, you know, this film didn't come out, and I'm just I've wasted a year, and I don't know what to do, and I don't know if I can do this. And he just said, forget everything and just put everything you have in this character. And so I did. I studied it like a lot before I went there. I I observed the way a lot of the beggars walk, and and then I had the most fantastic director, Essen Talish, who who was amazing to work with. He really helped me a lot. And I just I thought, okay, I'm not going to be Ushna. I'm going to be Rani in every sense of the word. And I built that character. And I think everything that I'd been learning in the last four years, I sort of put in that. And now I'm even more nervous because every now the next serial I do, people are going to expect the same thing. Yeah. So it's also the, what I'm doing now is also a very complicated character, but I'm scared because if I don't do as good a job as I did in Alif Allah, how many how many days Rani stayed with you? Rani stayed with me very much. Not too much. Rani didn't sleep for a lot of days. But Rani also morphs into the drama. Rina becomes a 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 drama. Rani stuck with me. We actually humne kuch bade maze ki cheeze ki us drama mein. So humne ek cheez that really broke my heart. Humne kya kiya ke uh, I asked Essen bhai it was his idea as well ke hum camera chupate hain and hum logon ko batate nahi hain that we're shooting some okay. of the opening scenes for Rani. And I was in get up I had stuff in my teeth I had a unibrow and gande baal and I was I went on the streets to beg um in real life and the cameras were hidden and you know there were people there for security in normal clothes but you know nobody knew so when i was asking people for money or food the way they treated me and they, with complete disregard you know they didn't know who i was and just as if i wasn't there and it really opened my eyes to the way because you know we, we can try to be polite but we're very dismissive of a lot of the people who come to beg and the paupers because we're so desensitized you know pakistan's full of them so how much empathy can you have yeah but then when i saw the way I was almost invisible and I was treated like you know one of those old lepers in like old India where was unchut ki tarah nahi hote the untouchables the way I was treated for even like 20 minutes I remember just breaking down and it was a very tough experience and then when they realized there was a shoot and I was Ushna phir tasveer lene aage woh log woh log and I was like oh my god imagine <laughs> Heartbreaking. It was heartbreaking, and, and, and also I think I think it just opened up to it, the reality. Yeah. Absolutely, and it was important. Yeah. I'll never look at people on the streets the same yeah. way again. It is. It's just a life-changing experience. It is. Yeah. It is. We can pretend that so we can. So, what will you do now? How will you do after Rani? What will you do? Scripts will be written. What will you think? I haven't done anything since Alif Allah for this very reason, because whatever came my way was not a challenge anymore, and. you know you only want to go up from where you were before so now what i'm doing is somewhat of a to, complex character up to up to ushna ko ushna kangal ho gayi hum ko na kya kya i don't want to do this i don't want to do now i'm like and now people are like okay bhanji i'm not karein kuch ab ghar baithe but i'm really lucky there's a what i'm doing next seems really fun very different from rani but i'm nervous again but you know the process yeah but lekin phir bhi you know jab aap ek 
एक ऐसा काम कर ले जिसमें इतने शेड्स हो इतने इतने शेड्स हो फिर आप फिर फिर आई थिंक यू यू आई थिंक आप लोगों यू डू एंड आई होप के राइटर्स अब और ऐसे रोल्स लिखे बिकॉज पिछले कुछ सालों में नहीं लिखे जा रहे हैं यू नो लाइक आई रिमेंबर इर्सा का जो जमाना था वेन योर लॉट वॉज यू नो कमिंग इन लीड्स इन ऑल इन द नाइन्टीज एटीज द कैरेक्टर्स आर रियली फन दोज आर रियली गुड कैरेक्टर्स एंड ऑल नाइन्टी नाइन परसेंट ऑफ माई वर्क हैज बिन एज अ लीड एक्ट्रेस समबड़ी हुज मेकिंग टी एंड क्राइंग ओवर अ रिश्ता दट्स गॉन बिकॉज दैट्स मोस्टली वट्स रिटन सो आई होप पीपल लर्न फ्राम दिस एंड आई थिंक पीपल आर अब अब अच्छे बनना शुरू हो गए। The right about a, a woman's journey, her struggles, woman's journey, exactly. and, and of course, and the fact there's no such thing as a good woman or a bad woman. Yeah, it's just a journey. It's just a journey. Yeah, it's, they, we're so complicated. Yeah. Women are such complex beings. It's so, insulting. So, so thinking actor का होना मुश्किल काम नहीं है उसना. Isn't it more complicating? To be a complicated. Uh, to be a thinking actor. Complicating. Acting. Complicating. Yeah. To be a thinking actor. Yeah. Yeah, and it gets you in a lot of trouble. I know. <laughs> gets me in a lot of trouble. Um I used to be a bit too blunt for my own good and I remember you sat me down and you gave me that lecture <laughs> when I was really I was I remember it was gotten to me the 45 days and I remember you said okay you're so intelligent girls don't think the way you do I've spoken to you why are you wasting that you need to control yourself <laughs> so I'm hoping with age I'm able to do that no, more No I think hum ek maqsad ke liye aate hain in each other's life wo character hai jisko humne zinda karna hai Mm-hmm. उसमें फिर आपकी आपकी अपनी जात नहीं मैटर करती नथिंग इज अबाउट यू इट्स अबाउट दैट पर्सन दैट यू आर गोइंग टू पोर्ट्रे इफ यू आर गोइंग टू टेक दैट एनर्जी दैट यू आर सपोज टू पुट इन दैट कैरेक्टर एंड जस्ट थ्रो इट अराउंड थ्रो इट एग्जैक्टलीन यूर वेस्टिंग गर्ल हुआ यू गोइंग टू पोर्ट्रे हर एनर्जी एंड यू हेल्प मी सो मच प्लेंग यू वर सो मच इन आप जी कैन आई टेल अ स्टोरी अबाउट वट यू डेड Oh this is so funny okay What did I do? <laughs> <laughs> This is so cute You were so apoji I remember jab aapke rone wale scenes hote the So sometimes you'd get really sad and you'd either like have a little tiff with uh, Naim uncle or Adnan bhai and they were like silly tiffs apoji type of tiffs and you would go in a corner and just be sad because you were so in character <laughs> And then I remember once uh pata nahi koi baat hui and I was like um we had to wash our own clothes while we were there because we didn't have any help and so i was like okay i have to wash my socks and all so i need like a brush am i supposed to do it with my hand and you were like oh so you can't do it with your hand you're a princess and i said okay and i left and then you chased after me and you said i don't know why i did that i'm so in character i'm so sorry give me <laughs> Yes, you're like I'm so oh, sorry, no, Ushna. That. that was so cute, and I just couldn't stop laughing. I was like, man, this lady is oh, adorable. That is so true. I do, I do. That was really fun. Like, like, <laughs> but yeah, you really go into your characters. That's a really cool thing. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Feels bit, but a lot like that to come out of them. But how do you unwind? Um, for Rani, how did you come out of it? Because Rani? I could see, because I could see that, and you know, when you were playing the the beggar. Mm-hmm. I said, "You just go to be a very difficult place." I saw him and said, "Where did he go?" And he said, "He went away." I went away, and it was really—it was in a way. I love the way you developed it. Thank you so much. 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 Thank you
I've, I've realized that the best person to love is yourself and then you should begin loving anybody mm. else and as as women we make that mistake where we'll put men before us wo kabhi hota hai shaah sharabil bolta hai ye kya kar diya irsa kehti hai ye kis tarah kar rahi ho ammi kehti hai irsa kabhi nahi karna tha aisa hota hai shaah sharabil does not want me to a director shaah sharabil to is like you quit right now he hates that i act he doesn't like the industry so he he gives no comments um irsa will never tell me directly anything even though i think she's like the most marvelous actor but she, she was so good in uh, oram reza she was really good she, she was, was really brilliant. she's good in everything she does yeah. but she'll never tell me she'll tell mama like she'll tell my mother ki isne ye aise kiya isne ye acha kiya isne ye bura kiya but she'll never tell me straight to my face whether she likes something or not or ammi mama is my biggest fan and my number one critic so if something's bad she will be the first person to tell me ki ye mujhe maza nahi aaya ye tumne scene baitha hua kiya ye tumne but when she likes something so she's my mother so she'll just be like uff mera bachcha tumhari nazar utaru meri jaan gift milte hai koi acha kaam karo to um bas wo khush ho jati hain duaein deti hain to kaise celebrate karti hain jab tum koi acha kaam karo yeah i'm never there to celebrate you know like agar main ek lambe height is ke ko kaha us pe laga diya ke kutte mere paal le ammi mere kutte paal le main ja ke kaam karu but wo unke chote chote gestures hote hain so whenever i'm home which i have been for a long time now she'll make me my special biryani that i love that she makes and you know she'll take care of me the little things that she does mujhe kab bula rahe ho biryani ke please come soon aap naashte pe kab bula rahi hain oh abhi for we've been making a plan to have breakfast at your house since 2002 yes and still hasn't happened. come Come, come Can we do that? When are you going now? I have, I think, twenty fifth, twenty sixth, twenty seventh. So where are you going? Come before that. Then then Karachi. Okay. And then Islamabad. I'm planning something, and then after that. And then you're going off abroad. Ah, okay. Go, go, go. 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 आजकल इड्री सेल्बा इज मिक्सिंग म्यूजिक सो आई एम इन लव विद ओके यू आस्किंग सीरियसली आई व्हेन डिड यू फॉल इन लव द फर्स्ट टाइम व्हेन डिड आई फॉल इन लव द फर्स्ट टाइम आई मस्ट हैव बीन लाइक 17 18 क्रश था या लव था लव लव एट फर्स्ट साइड आई मीन अब तो इट्स लाइक अ क्रश बट यू नो एट द टाइम यू थिंक इट्स लव एंड देन यू गेट योर हार्ट ब्रोकन बाय द फर्स्ट बॉय देन यू क्राई एंड देन यू लाफ अबाउट इट या सो आई हैव बीन थ्रू दैट journey like everyone else but i've had my heart broken a couple of times and i just think um i think for for what we do we're just generally very sensitive people in our line of work mm. so our emotions are like right here mm. so when we love we love very hard and you know so i think that's sort of i mean your your love story is very like you know it's it goes in the books you and aswan and cuz it's been going on for a long time long time so i'm hoping i'll get something like that one day <laughs> but when do you know ke nahi this is not for me i think in the back of your mind you always kind of know okay but you don't want to tell yourself i don't know sometimes you should know and you still don't believe it you you i i don't know i think i've just sort of been um just has been a learning experience hmm. but i think the best relationship i've had thus far has been with myself and at this point you know i'm inching closer and closer to my late 20s wow. i i i've realized that the best person to love is yourself and then you should begin loving anybody mm. else and as as women we make that mistake where we'll put men before us and mm. we really shouldn't because how are you going to love somebody if you don't love yourself first mm. have you ever hated anybody anything um in my younger days yeah i like i really felt like hated. I've I've had people who've wronged me so I've really felt that I've hated them like teenage years and all but now hate such a strong word and it takes so much of your energy like when I I remember I was you know I had some injustices done to me when I started out in the industry and I'd been targeted wrongfully and I'd had people do bad things to me you know uh, or spread bad things about me and I just felt really wronged in so many ways and i i was just enveloped in hate but then i realized it was exhausting to hate mm. hate's a very exhausting so do you go and confront yeah no. i usually do i used to but again these last couple of years have been very sort of i guess um 
I've evolved a lot in these last couple of years, especially this last year. I've learned a lot about myself. So now, even with confrontations, you confront people that you want to have um, a conclusion from. You know, if I want to fix something mm. or I want to mend something because I love you or I respect you, I'll confront you so that I can solve an issue. But if it's if I if I don't really want to bother with you and if there's really nothing connecting us, then why would I confront anybody? I think it's just you move on, because life is just there's so many bigger things than. Hate and negativity, and there's just there's so much hate in this world already. Yeah. You know, there's starving children out there. There's children in Syria eating grass, and children in Africa eating mud cakes, and people tormenting animals, and children being bombed, and just horrible things happening. Yeah. So how can I just go and hate somebody? I could just as easily catch a disease tomorrow and die. Am I going to spend my last few days hating somebody? So no, hey, I don't think I hate anybody right now. Absolutely not. There's no hate in my heart for anybody. Do you write? I haven't written in so long. Do you I write poetry? To, I used to. Because you're a romantic. I'm a total romantic. Yes, so but then you should be writing. <laughs> and I should. Do you sing? Do you sing to yourself? I sing to myself sometimes. I think I'm going to start singing eventually. Really? Yeah, I lost my voice last year uh, really badly. I was traveling. I was in Italy and I lost my voice one night and I damaged my vocal cord so badly. It didn't come Kya back. Kare? I don't know what happened. I got sick and I was really stressed out. I was up all night, and then after that, I had to resume the character of Rani. So I had damaged vocal cords. I was screaming on them, and so I never got my voice back to that level. But I'm trying to get it back so I can sing again, and I want to write again for sure. So what do you write? When you write? Stories. I write short stories. Short stories. Short stories. Little ideas. I'm a procrastinator and I have horrible writer's block, so I'll start something and never finish it. Hmm. How do you finish something? Tell me. Well, uh, I have a writer's block. I I, I co-write and I'm easier and comfortable when there is another person with me. That helps, right? Yeah. जब मेरे साथ कोई होगा तो मुझे बहुत मजा आता है. फिर मेरा दिमाग इतना चलता है. और जब मैं खुद लिखने बैठती हूँ, मैं मैं I I. Then you get a block, yeah. Yeah. Or मैं डर. Maybe I need a co-writer. उसका reason है. I I used to write poetry and I got criticized once. And I think I went into my shell. Who criticized somebody? Or wo, That's so silly. Labzon ko aage piche karna ye kya hai? Or wo sir. Oh, hate it when people get yeah. technical with writing. Or I'm such a non-judgmental. Oh, but then you shouldn't write for people. Write for yourself and I put it know, out. I know, but there. I don't know. Something happened. So uske well, baad make sir, it unhappen. Haan. It's horrible when someone does that to your creativity. And people do that. It it affects haan. any artistic haan thing haan? that you do. So wo criticism and me ye nahi kya rikit hik hai. But something happened to me. क्योंकि क्योंकि जो ये जो होलियर दन दाव वाला एटीट्यूड है ना जो सब में आज का है ना हाउ डू यू टेक क्रिटिसिज्म आई आई टेक इट ओके सो फिट समबडी आई रिस्पेक्ट हुज क्रिटिकिंग मी इन अ वे दैट लाइक आई नो आई लर्न समथिंग देन आई अब्जॉर्ब इट आई एम अ स्पंज लाइक आई रिमेंबर रनिंग आफ्टर यू आफ्टर एवरी सीन एंड सेइंग क्रिटिक मी टेल मी व्हाट हैव आई डन फिक्स दिस फॉर मी सो देन यू आर लकी व्हेन यू आर इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ लाइक एन इंस्टीट्यूशन लाइक योरसेल्फ यू नो देन यू वांट टू टेक क्रिटिसिज्म but a lot of times it's you have to go with your gut like i remember i lost an audition because i took other people's advice on how to do it and i didn't follow my gut and i knew how i wanted to do it and it turns out later on i find out a year later that what the director wanted was something that yeah. i wanted to do i've also so, lost a film because of things yeah. that, you know so sometimes it's so important to go with your gut yeah. like absorb learn but go with your gut yeah. and now i just um, So I'll take criticism from whoever I respect. I'll learn it, but I gotta go with my gut at the end of the day. Kaha There's a reason I'm here where I'm. Where do you want to go? Where do I want to go? What do you mean? What do you want to do? Kidhar? Where is your future? What are you thinking? Asmina, what do you I, want to explore? And I want to. So okay, so this trip that I had this past month. Um, and I'm really glad I came on the show. This is one of the reasons I came because I really wanted yeah. to talk to you about this because I can't talk like this with anybody else, you know. This trip I had was so insightful. Um, it taught me something so important about balance um, of life. Like I've been, I always thought that being successful in my line of work would validate me, and this line of work can make you really insecure if you let it. If you let. the fame and the praise and the criticism define you you're basically tormenting yourself and ruining your life because i've been at a point in the start of my career when i did my first drama where 
people would say, oh, she's a horrible actress. And I probably was. I've heard it too. I've heard it, you know. And then I've been at points where, oh, she's amazing. Hmm. And then it's been like, I will do one hit drama, mega hit. And then I'll do a couple of dramas that aren't hits or I'll take a break and suddenly I've disappeared off the radar. And then I'll do another hit and suddenly they love me and suddenly I come back down. And you know, if I get rejected for something or if I'm not getting the praise I'm used to, I begin to question, am I good? Am I worthy? Am I? And so when I was taking this trip, I realized this is so fleeting, this line of work. You do it if you love the art and you're not supposed to do it for any other reason. And you're not supposed to let it justify, or validate your happiness or define your happiness. So now, where I want to be in life is not necessarily very successful career-wise. Because what is success? A couple of hits? I mean, I've seen it. They'll come and they'll go. They'll, it's very up and down with this career. Um, I'd like to have a really fulfilling personal life. I think that's important. I'd like to have a balance. So I'd like to have my career. I'd like to be traveled. I'd like to have peace of mind. I would like to have space in my head to think, to be creative. I'd like to meditate. I'd like to be in love. I'd like to have a functional, happy relationship. I'd like to have children one day. That's becoming important to me now. But I've realized that my happiness is no longer defined by, oh, if I get that film or, oh, if I get that, you know, that endorsement and whatever. And when you're in this game for a young actress, and I'd like to tell young girls wanting to come in this field, it's very easy to forget why you did this. I start, I fought with my brother, with my family to do this because I love acting. And somewhere in the middle, I'd forgotten why I was doing it. Mm. Somewhere in the middle, amidst social media and amidst all yeah. the columns and the articles and the gossips, I'd forgotten that I was acting. So I think after Alif Allah and after these trips that I've taken and some, this break I've taken, I've realized that where I want to be in life isn't necessarily a peak of success. It's just happiness, contentment. And you get that when you have stability at home and you have a balance with your you know, work and you don't overdo anything. So that's where I want to be. I just want to be happy more than anything else. What do, I, what do I spend my money on? Food. That's where my money goes. Like all the expensive bags I have, all the expensive jewelry I have has been given to me by my sisters. All my dad, everything that I have that's precious is not mine. I wouldn't spend money on. I buy a lot of shoes. I spend money on shoes and then I spend money on food. I love food. So do you take interest in your home, doing it up, doing the interior? <clears throat> I haven't. I have not owned a vase in like five years. And I'm going to go buy myself a vase now. Because I get flowers sent to me and I never have any place to put them. Like my own personal yeah. vase in my room. And I've been shifting so much back and yeah. forth that, you know, I was staying with my sister and then my mother came back from Canada, so I shifted with her that I haven't like ever had time to nest. I haven't, I have paintings, but I haven't put them up. What do you collect? What do I collect? I collect perfumes and I'm starting to now collect art. I'm sort of getting into modern art a little bit. Do you paint? I don't paint. Do you, you paint? Do, don't. You don't paint? No, I do, but... You paint? I don't quietly. paint. I wish I could. <laughs> I am fascinated by trees. You like still life? I love a, a paint, a drawing and painting trees. You like drawing and ah, painting trees? I don't know why. I'm so fascinated. What are you fascinated by? There's something about? beautiful about trees. Hannah? I'm really fascinated with animals. Just animals overall. All cats sorts or animals. just dogs? I like cats too now. Cats are cute. Mm. But all animals. Like we used to have a pet squirrel back in the day that we rescued. Where? Uh, in, in Canada. Canada. And growing up, Mama bought me swans. And we've always had puppies and dogs. And we just, and birds that we would rescue and take care of. I just, there's something so pure about an animal's love because it, it doesn't care who you are, you know, what the world thinks of you, how much money you make. It just, you give it love and it gives you love back and there's nothing more pure. So I really... Are you actively with any group to rescue their dogs? I, I'm yeah. not with any group per se, but I contribute to causes um, because I live in Lahore. There's this wonderful, wonderful um, group called Todd's Welfare Society run by this lovely girl named Kiran um, and she she named it after her dog that she lost and so she's opened up a shelter and she rescues them and then there's a group called Give Us Life that I really like and then there's of course ACF in Karachi so there's a lot of people and there's Hope for Paws and there's all these wonderful wonderful groups mm -hmm. in Pakistan now that are raising awareness yeah. about you know animal and animal well-being.
I think we need to do a lot more. Lot we need to more, do a lot especially more. Especially the, you know, the dogs on the streets. My oh, God, and no, this calling yeah. needs to stop. I, yeah. my, okay, so you asked where I see myself. I would love to love to have a big farm where I could just bring all the dogs from Pakistan, all the stray dogs, and they could just live there and, you know, I could feed them and take care of them. How awesome would that be? That would be fantastic. That would be amazing. Yeah, I it? remember uh, Marina Khan. My God, the amount of cats she has. She has cats? Cats and cats and cats. And, so, so, and Sanya said, cats, <laughs> cat lovers. And now she has dogs also. Oh, so they when are, they were going away, I think uh, they gave up. Gave, gave, gave up uh, it's on so time. hard to give away your animals. Uh, I can't. I, like if I shift, I'll take my animals with me. I only have three. Where shift you shift? If I ever move, I'm not going to live in one place forever. I'm a nomad. Where will you make Lahore, Karachi, Canada, koi kisi city. Well, in Pakistan, mein to Lahore. I would like Achha. to have my own house. Like, when I was young, my mom had built a beautiful house for us near Ryven, near where you live. Mm. And uh, it was beautiful, it was green, and it was, and we had to unfortunately sell it. And so I've always wanted her to buy her a house in that area. Mm. Like, tha ki I will buy my mother a house five times as big so she can grow all the trees. She loves horticulture. Mm. So I was like, I'll grow, buy her a bigger house for her trees and her animals. So yeah, one in Lahore, I would love to have a house in Ubud. Ubud is in Bali. It's so in Bali bahut laga. I love it. You would love it. Ubud is this jungle city with the best food in the world. All these temples where people meditate wow. and like amazing food and it's all about peace oh, that and love. reminds me, I will need to go to a retreat. Go to Ubud, there's so many retreats there. I want there. to go Rice to Rice paddies retreat. and villas and like it's so simple and it's, it's amazing. So I'd love to have a place there and then, okay, if I want to be a little pretentious, Venice Beach. Kida? I recently went to LA and like I've seen a lot of wonderful places, you know, I've gone to great places. I love London, I love, but there's something about Venice Beach that just made me fall in love with it. It's in Los Angeles and it's just it's so amazing. It's okay. like the perfect mix of well, like artsy. Is, is this the architecture of that? Area? It's the beach and what they've done. So the beach is really cool in itself because there's like, these tennis courts and skateboarding thingies and people selling like street art and graffiti so yeah. it's like really young and cool and then um, behind it they've built canals like you know like the canals in Venice and there's houses on the canals really yeah so I guess they've taken Where the sea water do because I, I don't rem I don't have any memory of that so next time you go to California you have to check it out so they've built canals like right behind the beach yeah. area and people have made their backyards are on canals you can sit on a boat and go wherever but it's like really expensive like so like what kind of a home will you make i mean will it be a simple minimalist i think i keep it minimalist simple red brick lahori with like or a big lawn ka furniture hoga i don't know yet like right i've always had my family's always had really contemporary furniture like a balance it's is really good at decorating mm. But I think I just keep it comfortable and warm. And mm. I used to want really pretentious things. Now I just want comfortable and coziness. So I would have big sofas for my dogs like to sit on. You can flop and like my dog yeah, loves to yeah. climb up on top. So, you know, a house that's dog friendly for sure. And colors? Colors kya honge? Probably neutral. Okay. neutral what kind colors? of colors do you like wearing? I love green, bottle green. That's my favorite color. Bottle green? Yeah, bottle green, jade green. So I'll have hints of that. I'll have pops of and color. And what, what do you like wearing? Jewelry, makeup? I'm not a very big jewelry person. Expensive clothes or simple? Uh, I'm not. I like to collect my perfumes. I love my perfumes. All the expensive jewelry. Ithar? Do you ever collect ether? I don't collect ether, not yet. I have a few ether pieces, but I collect a lot of... But I'm getting headaches from the alcohol these days, like ah. recently. So I'm starting to go for slightly mellower, maybe oil-based scents. Yeah. Um, what, do I, what do I spend my money on? Food. That's where my money goes. Like all the expensive bags I have, all the expensive jewelry I have has been given to me by my sisters. All my dad, everything that I have that's precious is not mine. I wouldn't spend money on. I buy a lot of shoes. I spend money on shoes and then I spend money on food. I love food. I like what kind of food? everything. I just love food. I'm like all about flavors and organic food and like herbs. So, you ask yes, I love food from Peru's. Huh? I love food from Peru's. You do? I do love food. You know what's awesome? Usman uncle makes such good fish. Yes. He makes such good and fish. And And I haven't had his bindi, but I've had his fish. Yeah. Because we in Pakistan make a lot of food that we overseason and overcook. 
एंड मछली में से आपको पानी का टेस्ट आना चाहिए दरिया का या समुद्र का यू नो यू सपोज टू टेस्ट दैट इन द फिश सो यू नो दिस सो ही मेड इट सो वेल ही लाइक हल्की सी सीजनिंग आई कैंट कुक बट आई कैन ईट सो ही वुड लाइक सीजन इट विद लाइक लेमन्स एंड यू नो व्हेन यू फील द द फूड दैट यू ईट इन द फ्लेवर इफ यू इफ यू इफ यू कैन फील व्हाट यू कुकड and you you know prepared it's it's my mouth's nice. watering now i think i have to take you uh, to peru's to feed we have today. to go to peru's again <laughs> i miss peru's but i i think i need a man who can cook i like cuz i can't cook i, I would lo- love to I learn i love when usman cooks isn't it peru awesome? cooks oh, <laughs> i am so glad does he like make you breakfast yeah and... yeah yeah He is really I told him that I am hungry. He said, "Man, can you make me dinner? I will eat it." He said, "Yes, I will." You guys are so romantic. I remember he would. You were visiting when we were. I was. At, by the way, another thing. Both of you, husband and wife. I've worked in serials with each one of you. You both abused me so much. Your characters. <laughs> His character beat me up. Oh my God! Your yes. character. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and in real life, you're the ab, warmest, ab, most ab, loving ab, people. Your character is Rafu Gari. In that, Shocked oh my God, yeah, <laughs> and I've been nasty to you. You were nasty to me, so and so but you're both so sweet because you would both hug me at the end, yeah. like cut out that thing. You'd be like, come here, come here, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been abused by the peers, Ada. Oh. I will remember this. Acha, um, zindagi kya hai? Ah, yeah, itne, it, it's such a wise, uh, such a sort of deep question you're asking me with such a shallow brain. I have. I wish I had, you know, some witty response to that. But mm. zindagi is just finding peace and balance. I think, and I think it's all about love at the end of the day. It all boils down to love. It it sounds so cliche. It sounds really cliche, but I mean, you know, when they say money can't buy happiness, it really can't. You can. You know what I love the most? Uh, there's a line in uh, Avatar. Mm-hmm. It say when she says to him, "I see you." I see you. My god, that's what the way they about. do it and it's like I see you. I see, you. see into you. You know, that's yes, what it's all about. That's what love is. That's what love when is. When you notice somebody. When you notice and, and you then no, nobody. Absolutely. Nobody matters. So mere paas hote ho goya jab koi dusra nahi ho. And what is death? My god, I hope not a burning pit of fire. <laughs> I think it's just Do you ever do you ever wonder I, I souls कहाँ जाती हैं और क्यों चली जाती हैं? I do, but if I speak too much about it, they might just, you know, smite me here क्यों? while I'm alive, <laughs> considering where we live. I do. Um, it's it's such a sad, sad part of life. It's I mean, what did Buddha so say? So final, है ना? So final. You know, I, I, I wish there was. Line, that I wish there was a inevitable. there was a window, है ना? That you to could peak? Oh, to peak. And there see. is. I mean, you could. I mean, there are people who flatline and come back within 15 minutes, and they say they see certain things. But I don't know how finite that people is. are. Talk, we have talked yeah. about life. They have actually seen life, life after, after death, that, and then yeah. they've returned. Well, I mean, our bodies do sort of disintegrate and you know decompose. So I mean, it's all energy. Energy can't go away like that. I think we become one with whatever we are. But what was that Buddha line? It's really bugging me now. The most the, something about the absolute truth in life is death or something there like it that. is there is no it's no really, other truth but isn't it so sad yeah. i mean like you know allah makes us love people and get so attached to people and then we have to say goodbye which is like you know, yeah, no? i find it difficult to but then i i've done a lot of finding out that what it is that people think and what the natives kya sochte hain or um jo yeah. evolved hain wo kya sochte hain aur jo what's your take on that i think i think we don't go away you don't we, think we we, go we keep coming back you think so i i you, you were quoting avatar because 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 um uh soul is for till eternity it is you can't kill energy Hannah? that's a scientific yeah. thing you can't kill energy it's going to be and there. it is i mean no no experiment bhi kiya ke ru ka weight hai Yes, something point, something grams. Yes, I read about that. Yeah, so if it's that, then that means that people like, we exist. We're here. Yeah. We're not lifeless. I mean, there's some. So this so is intriguing. consciousness. I agree. There was there was a quote from Harry Potter, and I know it's a children's book, but it really touched no, me. No, no, it, it sort every, of transcends yeah. beyond yeah. children as well. It, I think it's very deep. I love yeah, that yeah. writer. I think J.K. Rowling is just, um, and it was something. Those who love us never truly leave us. and i that all that something i tell everyone when i'm trying to console them you know in bereavement because it's so true 
you never really left. You always have that presence, that energy. Yeah, Rumi says that if you have loved with your eyes, then, then, then the person you love disappears. But if you have loved with your heart, yes, then it stays in your heart forever. Yes, that's a beautiful quote. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I love you. I love you too. <laughs>